Hello, hello, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Stars with Stassi, where no matter who or what you are on this cosmic journey, you are welcome here. Greetings, I'm Stassi, your trusted psychic and intuitive reader. This is your weekly reading for June 2nd through June 8th. We are midway through it, right? Um, anyway, this is, or whenever you come across this message is meant for you, Pisces. The big event this week is going to be the new moon in Gemini, and that is happening on June 6th, and that's going to be in your fourth house. So fourth house, all about your family, your home, your roots, and even your mama, <laughs> the mother. So let's keep going. Oh, wow. This is interesting. The Scorpio got the same card. So it must be a water sign thing. This comes through as 54, the crossing initiation. So potentially at a crossroads or de thinking deeply about something. Um, <clears throat> The energetics this week is going to have you having your family at the center of your decision making. So it could be that you are contemplating the next steps in a move um, or even a home purchase. And we'll get into that when we are looking at the uh, the financial sector. So just to give you a little bit, we're going to do a general. Then we're going to look at your finances and then relationships. Right. We'll do some shadow work and see, hey, what you can do this week. So we have two things coming out right off the bat. Queen of Wands with the Ace of Swords. Interesting. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper just to get some more information. But the Queen of Wands, super magnetic energy. Um, two of Pentacles. Okay. There's something here about you bringing more balance into your life. And I feel that this Ace of Swords is information that's going to help you do that. Queen of Wands, very magnetic, gets her way, doesn't have to be female. It's just the energy of being magnetic, charismatic, and actually getting your way with your words. So I would say this, that Gemini, like I said, very flirty energy, communicates, having you look at both sides of the coin. Um, this is a great time to have intellectual stimulating, wait, intellectually stimulating conversations with others. And um, this is also a really good time to get out there and date, right? Get put a profile online. Um, you may find yourself having multiple suitors, right? Things like office romances, throuples, different types of relationships, all of that comes up during this season. So <clears throat> when you are having this energy in your fourth house, it may have you simply re examining your relationships with your family and maybe how much time you spend with them um, and prioritizing them. Um, it, and if that's not your thing, it might be even something just like revent. Uh, what's the word? Re reven. <laughs> now I can't say it. renovating, renovating your home. Gosh, uh, clearly the Gemini energy is not falling upon me because my communication today is crazy. All right. We've got the chariot card. This signifies you taking control of a situation, right? Something's, you know, this is, um, you're driving the chariot to victory actually. And <clears throat> Remember how I said Gemini energy has you examining both sides of the coin? This is literally that card of driving the middle path so that that way you can really juice both sides of the coin for all it's worth. So a couple of things I just want to kind of go over with you, Pisces, especially if you're newer to my channel. When I'm reading tarot, we're looking for using the tools of tarot to as, as psychological tools, right, to help you progress through each week using the energetics that are available to you. So, you know, this is going to be a lot about how you can use... Um, interesting how how you can use these cards to help you progress your path ahead so we've got the ace of swords with the eight of pentacles you're really doing some research this week into something and remember how i said this would be a good time to invest in real estate or do home improvements you might this is literally that energy of like researching prices researching um materials, right? Researching real estate agents. There's something here about that. Again, fourth house energy. So you can always buy a house anytime you want. You can do whatever you want anytime you want. But when the energetics are there to support it, things go much smoother. So two of pentacles, six of swords. 
where it is that you need balance, you will find it. I feel that you're taking more control of your schedule, taking more control of your energy period, right? Who you allow to be in and out of your mind rent free. You know, I feel that also you are like I said, taking control of a situation. The moon card shows up, Cancerian energy. Um, interesting. So this full moon, like I said, or the new moon rather, is um, is going to have you deepening connections with people that you consider family, whatever that looks like to you. All right, so in terms of your finances, because we're using tarot as a tool, right, as a, as a therapeutic tool, we're going to look and see where is your money mindset potentially blocked, right? What is it that we need to do to get our finances in order, Pisces, right? Where is it that you can see things differently, perhaps? Interesting. This reads, release shame. And now if that isn't true for just about every human being, there is usually an element of shame tied to our money mindset, whether it's you have too much and you spend it recklessly, right? Somebody's opinion somewhere, you know, you have too much and you hoard it recklessly, right? You, you, you clog up the energy or that you just have shame attached to your money mindset because you've been programmed to believe that your value is directly linked to your income. And that is so true for so many of us, especially if you're a certain age, right? Middle-aged, you definitely received that programming, right? You're only your value is only as much as your is your income. And I think we're starting to see that that's not true. So release shame. If you've been shamed for being too sensitive or anything else, tell yourself, I'm ready to release this shame. I am a lovable, caring person. In terms of your money, I'm ready to release the shame. I am an abundant human being. By birthright, I deserve it. So, and that's true. By birthright, you deserve abundance. By birthright, you deserve to be living a lifestyle that suits your desires, period, right? And what stops us from getting that is that we're programmed to believe that we can't have it and that it has to be difficult. Interesting. We've got Scorpio energy coming up, death and rebirth coming alongside 10 of swords, which is the ending of something. Wow, Pisces. And then we've got the full card, the beginning of something. Literally transforming Scorpio energy, transforming your money mindset. It could be that you're quitting your job or just pivoting altogether, which makes perfect, perfect sense. If you are a business owner or anything like that, especially with all of the tools that are coming out that allow business owners to market more freely, to edit more freely, to um, dabble in different streams of income, I feel like you're taking advantage. So the full card says, this is not your first rodeo. You have enough information to start new with, I don't know, just a different energy about you. The full card, and we're going to clarify, that robe is tattered and it signifies that they've been through a thing or two in their life. But that gives you all of the the chutzpah, I guess, that you need to take the sleep of faith because, you know, things have not necessarily gone your way, Pisces, in the recent past. I feel like this is signifying that there's been some heartache, that there's been some difficult times and, you know, you're working to get out of this loop. And this week, this new moon brings about that energy because when you are having the energetics in the fourth house, that of your home and your family, that's really your stability. That's where everything starts. Psychologically speaking, this is back in the day, right? This is your home. And so the things that we learned then carry with us throughout our lifetimes until we take a moment and say, where does this belief come from? What do I need to change and transform and release completely? so that I can live the lifestyle I want, not the one I was told I needed to, right? Which is true. The collective is being pushed towards that. And that is something Gemini would have you exploring, right? Why do you believe you have to be a doctor? Why do you believe you have to be, you know, um, whatever it is, fill in the blank. I don't know. You're gonna have to figure out what that means for you, you know, but some of us had, you know, just a, an upbringing that we were maybe told what we had to do for a living, right? Really weren't given the tools to explore. And now, you know, I feel that the chariot's saying, well, you are the driver of this bus, right? You can make whatever pivot you want. And it's becoming more accessible to pivot. 
So something's happening here this week. All right, let's keep going. Why? What comes through? So the strength card. All right, Leo energy. I just want to point out that when the fool is taking its journey, right, his journey, their journey, through the major arcana, every card that you see that's a major arcana is a life lesson. It signifies a deep, deep transformation. And it looks like in terms of your finances, deep transformations happening. This is about facing your fears and and looking them straight in the face and saying, okay, I'm not going to allow this to happen anymore. So <clears throat> let's say you've always wanted to, and then fill in the blank, but something has stopped you. This is all about that investigation. What is stopping you? With this fourth house energy, you might determine that it's something having to do with deep, deep roots all the way back to your parents, your family, your mom even. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just about evaluating and then taking what resonates for you and literally leaving the rest for someone else, right? Like a tarot reading. I feel like when it comes to your finances and your money mindset, you are going to be making some changes. I feel also that you're going to be saving more, <clears throat> right? Because you want to take more risks, if that makes sense. So the two of pentacles shows up again, and this is showing up in, in your money, saying that like, look, <clears throat> things are going to be much better. It's not going to have to always be this energy of one or the other. I feel like you're going to have, you're going to be able to loosen up the purse strings a little bit, so to speak, <clears throat> by August. So if you've had, I know this is a weekly reading, but the energy is coming through. If you've had financial setbacks or, or something where things haven't been as, as smooth as you like, been more paycheck to paycheck energy, or you're in between jobs, this is a week where more opportunity comes your way through connections and networking, potentially potentially you have the opportunity to network because you meet someone through a family member, right? Or someone you perceive as family. So like a job coming through a, a avenue like that. Interesting. Because I feel like you're going to have more balance in your life. It's like an opportunity you, you know, that's going to really work out for you. <laughs> The emperor, this is your own business. This is owning, and, and this isn't going to resonate for everybody. So you don't have to own your own business, but this is longevity to the dime. <laughs> this is investments. And <clears throat> the other thing too, is that the emperor is wearing armor under their robe. And that signifies that they're always ready, right? You're always ready for a new opportunity when it comes to your finances. You're going to jump on it and opportunity knocks on your door. The problem is, is that you might be feeling like, oh, I don't know if I can take that on. I don't know if I can, and then fill in the blank. So spirit says, listen, you're going to have to face those demons and face those fears because you're being called to the greatness that you want. You want more money. You want more opportunity. When it comes knocking on your door, you have to let go of your limiting beliefs and that um, imposter syndrome, right? This is warning of that. <clears throat> and this is warning of releasing shame. And that if you are considering going off on your own and doing your own thing, not to say you won't collaborate or work with others because we're headed towards that. But I'm saying if you're looking for a place to get your vision out into the world, this is going to be a good time for it. Also, like I said, for those of you remodeling or renovating homes, um, your, your own space, or even it could be that you're renovating a space where your family lives, right? Like your parents, something like that. This is going to be a good time for that as well. All right. So let's go ahead and look at relationships for you this week. What do we have for Pisces this week in relationships? Because of this Gemini energy, this is going to be a very flirty time. This could bring about office romances. This could bring about different types of relationships, open relationships, throuples, couples, all the things, right? Because Gemini wants you to explore different experiences. So not going to resonate for everybody, but you might even see more of that being broadcasted out, right? <clears throat> Depending on what you program, what programs you watch, you may see more of that. Also something to consider, at least in the state that I live in, June is the month of, you know, um, pride. It's pride month here. And a lot of times Gemini is associated with open sexuality. And so all of that comes together at the same time. It's just things to consider. Um, 
So we have number 35, lost compass, getting back to integrity. And I feel like when it comes to your relationships, maybe you have been standoffish for a while and now it's time to kind of, you know, it's you're, you're getting the itch to kind of go back out there. That Gemini energy, flirty, fun, Gabby, right? Talky, talky talk. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> talky talk. I don't think that's a, I don't think it's a psychological term, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> talky talk. Page of cups literally about getting excited to go out and be around people and do things. Um, like I'm telling you, you're, this is the energy where you will be at a farmer's market and meet somebody you'll be at, you know, the corner market. It, it's one of those things. I'm literally seeing like a basket with like just enough items to get you through the day. Like you're stopping somewhere quick. It's like chance encounters, right? Online encounters, meeting people through family, friends, work, <clears throat> Interesting. I've King of Cups. We've got the Page of Cups, the King of Cups. This is all relationship energy, Seven of Wands. So I will say this. <laughs> the energy supports multiple suitors, take it or leave it, especially if you're online dating. So this might be about building boundaries, you know, not responding to everybody right away all the time or being clear like, hey, look, I'm working. I can't respond during the day or whatever it is, just being clear, right? Because I feel like it's going to be multiple things that you're managing at one time. Um, and so also, Seven of Wands can be about fighting for something that you want. So it could be that you encounter someone who is dating multiple suitors and you perhaps would like to be the only one. And so you may need to say as much, right? Take it how it resonates. Let's clarify here. What does Pisces have? But the look, either way, shoot your shot. This is the energy where you're going to get what you want, <laughs> right? And if it's not meant for you, it, it's going to like a replacement comes in right around the corner. Literally, there is, <laughs> there's so much opportunity with this new moon to network and manifest, um, manifest anything that has to do with like other people, right? Period. There's a lot of communication happening. Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. I want to go back to the general energy because I don't want to forget to say this to you because I just got this vision. So Gemini rules hands, lungs, clavicle throat chakra and even the bones according to some so be mindful if you are doing home renovations if you are physical in your day-to-day -day, that there's two things one is this is a great opportunity to make money with your hands if you're creating something molding something fixing something great opportunity these are on fire also though be very mindful that this is a good time that if because i'm hearing carpal tunnel if somebody out there is dealing with arthritis, carpal tunnel, something in the wrists, this, the energetic support healing during this time for that. So I feel strongly that if you're having a health issue or one arises in any of the places I've discussed, the energetic support healing. <clears throat> so you would want to go ahead and not wait, get, get those things checked out now. All right. So tell me more. I just saw the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you have new opportunities coming towards you. Absolutely. One moment. I've got cards. I see the Ace of Pentacles again. Tell me more about the relationships here. Hanged man comes through with the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> This is, this is a new beginning. Listen, for those of you that are moving or considering moving, once you move, new person comes through like soulmate energy I'm feeling. And Scorpio has been having that for months being uprooted to be with their soulmate unknowingly. Right? <clears throat> so if a sudden opportunity comes to move because of a job or anything like that, it's literally to pull you closer to your person. <clears throat> and then we've got the three of pentacles clarifying the seven of wands. So remember how I said throuples, open relationships, things you had not expected, take it or leave it. It is going to resonate for some people here. It's about like building your boundaries with that, because this is literally three people, <laughs> three of pentacles. Um, yeah. So if you're getting this energy of, you know, you want monogamy, the other person wants open, you're going to have to say as much and really say it aloud or vice versa. Maybe you want open, like, I don't know, take it how it resonates, but there's something here. You're going to have to be very clear about what your intentions are moving forward as you enter into these new relationships, <clears throat> because I feel like you are 
very much ready to, I don't know, I feel like you're ready to explore, you're ready to try something out, you're ready to take a more balanced approach to life. So where you were investing all of your time and energy into your pentacles, your money, this fourth house energy has you reevaluating that dynamic. It has you saying, you know what? That's too much of me put into something that doesn't provide me emotional support. It's just, I hate to say this because it's not just money sometimes. Sometimes it's literally your survival. And if you own a business, it's the survival of others. It's very stressful. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> it's a material energetic that um, can really ruin or make people because it's it's the it's the energy that we tie to it right it's the the vibe that we tie to our money to our resources so this king of cups i will say this with this ace of pentacles you you could be attracting a business owner. You could be attracting someone who is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And that happens a lot with water signs. We attract each other. I'm a Scorpio. So you might want to check out your other placements too to see how that manifests. But this is somebody who's pretty stable, um, someone who is emotional, but they're more not as open with their emotions, very balanced, right? So you could be attracting someone who has like a grounded approach towards relationshiping. And that's why you need to be so clear about what you want. Because grounded doesn't mean that it's the same as what you want. It just means that they're firm in what they desire. And it's going to have you, it, it has you beg the question, right? Like, what is it that I really want? And this energy supports you figuring that out this week because, We've got the hanged man with the page of cups, hanged man, looking at things different, taking another approach towards relationships, page of cups. So <clears throat> the hanged man has given up the use of the arms and the legs to hang from the tree of knowledge to gain enlightenment. So do you have to make some, um, what's it called? Do you have to make some sacrifices to make your relationships work? Do you have to give more than you have been or ask of more than you have been from someone else? I feel like there's an energy here about saying what you want aloud, being vocal, getting your point across and being heard. Also, that will encourage the people that you attract to be more communicative with you, freeing up your mental energy. So, all right, let's look at your shadow work this week. I like this deck for shadow work <clears throat> this week or this month, actually. I'm going to do it for all of Gemini season because it plays with both sides of the coin. And I will show you. Let's see. What do we have for Pisces this week, please? What do we have for Pisces? This reads passion and purpose. So <clears throat> Gemini energy. And this is also a number 10 signifying, let me get out of the glare, signifying beginnings and endings, right? You've got several 10s in your reading and a few aces. So passion versus purpose. Are you passionate about what you do? Do you feel that it's as rewarding for you as you need it to be? Does what you do day in and day out provide you the purpose? Do you feel fulfilled? And if the answer to that is anything but yes, then this energy, this fourth house, new moon is going to have you really thinking about living a different way. It's going to have you saying, okay, two of pentacles, I'm creating my reality. I'm taking the bull by the horns, but this is too much. I need more balance. And you want to be excited about what you do. Otherwise, when you lose the drive and the desire, it becomes obligation, obligation, obligation. And that actually screws up your entire frequency. And then you attract all kinds of negativity in your life and stress and all that. So if you can't get out of an obligatory job, for example, if you can't do that, you have to create a space for balance to bring in a vibration of joy, to bring a, a vibration of gratitude and fun. So make sure that you at least balance it out this week. <clears throat> this reads, my ability to receive is measured by how much I practice good feeling thoughts, literally. <laughs> If you're always coming from a place of, I have to, I need to, this is overdue, got to get here, got to go there. What's left for how do I feel? What do I like? 
what have I eaten today? It's it's even that, like, are your basic needs being met? Or are you just over exerting yourself? And this says, hey, you know, your money is definitely turning around. Opportunity comes. There's relationships here for you if you want them. And even more than one and unique kinds presenting themselves to you. So be very clear in what it is that you want to make sure that you're only attracting what serves you now. All right. Thank you so much, Pisces. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, drop some comments below. Tell me how you are experiencing this Gemini season so far. And if you're feeling more flirtatious, like you want to get out there and do something wild, right? I, I'll respond to your questions and comments. I respond to each and every one of them. And don't forget, it's a general message. So if you're looking for something more um, specific, please visit my website and book a reading at starswithstassi.com. And of course, we're all stars in the sky with feet on the ground, doing the best we can with the information we have, Pisces. So be kind to yourselves and each other. And until next week, may the magic that we weave and the words that we speak bring healing to all those who seek it. Have a great week ahead and shine brightly.